Hi guys, so it's time to make another tarantula feeding video. It's been a long time since I last made one. And this one's number 26 I think. So yeah, this is the first tarantula we're going to feed. One of my B. smithy females. And because it's almost Christmas, I thought I'd get some more sun beetle larvae to feed to the teas. Because they are a good size, and I thought they'd be the equivalent of a Christmas dinner. <laughs> okay then guys. Let's see if she wants one. Okay, well the bee smithy wasn't hungry. So next we're going to try my Pamphibutius antinus, the steely blue leg. This is about a four inch female. And she's always hungry, so hopefully she's going to take one down for us. Okay, here goes. Whoa! <laughs> Made me jump then. That's a pretty cool takedown. Very fast. And as you can see, she's taking it back into a hide to start eating it. Okay then guys, let's go on to the next one. Whoa! Okay guys, well, these grubs are definitely juicy, as you've probably just seen in the slow motion. Some of the juices actually went on the camera lens, so I had to give it a little clean. <laughs> okay then guys, next we're going to feed the OBT female that I've got. Okay, here goes. Whoa. <laughs> oh, she bit it. Hopefully she's going to actually eat it. Yeah, went for the head. And it's pretty much over. Yeah, there she is, with a Christmas present. <laughs> okay then guys, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up I have the female tea blondie that recently molted. And yeah, she's going to be pretty hungry, so should be a pretty cool takedown. Okay then, here goes. Whoa, <laughs> almost caught it. Yeah, you can hear a crunching through it. Very juicy indeed. <laughs> okay then guys, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up is my 5 inch male LP, who is pretty much always hungry. So let's see if he wants one of these beetle larvae. Okay, here goes. Yeah, took it down. <laughs> well, he looks like he's enjoying that. I think we'll leave him to his meal and go on to the next one. Well, looks like I was wrong about the bee smithy. Turns out she was hungry and has taken it down. <laughs> You can just see her there munched on it in the background. And while we're here, I thought we might as well do a little update on the B. smithy breeding project. Uh, the largest female successfully mated, I think it was two or maybe three times with the male, and is now looking pretty gravid. Can't really see just how big her abdomen is, but it's pretty huge. It looks like she's taking a drink now. And she will be making an egg sac pretty soon. You can see in the background there, there's some very thick silk, which is usually put down just before an egg sac. And there's also a bit of silk here as well. So yeah, hopefully we'll get an egg sac soon. And he did also mate successfully with my female that I raised from a spiderling. This is Tess, who's also got a pretty large abdomen now, and may also be possibly gravid. So fingers crossed that she'll make an egg sac as well pretty soon. And the female that's just been fed is the only one that hasn't successfully mated with the male yet. Don't know why that is. She seems to not know what to do. <laughs> she drums to the male and he comes over, tries to lift her up, but she won't extend her fangs, which needs to happen. Otherwise he can't lift her into the right position. So yeah, that's, that's pretty strange, but I will try again once they've both been fed up. And the male's also doing well still. 
still got him on the breeding line and the only bit of bad news was there was a the final attempt with the large female she didn't try to mate with him instead she just attacked him and unfortunately he did lose a leg so you can just see there's a space there where his leg was but yeah apart from that he's been doing fine still feeding and making the odd sperm web as you can see so like I said I will try and pair him up with this female again just in case she will actually breed with him <laughs> okay then guys let's get back to this feeding video next up we have another gorgeous brachypelma this is my female curly hair and she's usually pretty hungry so let's hope she is today okay then guys here goes She's coming, and she got it. <laughs> I think this is definitely the first time she's had one. Wasn't too sure about it then, but as you can see, now she's tucking into it, and there's gunge coming out all over the place. <laughs> okay then, guys, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up is my mature male G portery, formerly the G rosea. And this guy doesn't eat very often, but if you remember the last time we offered beetle grubs, he did take one down. So hopefully he'll do the same today. Oh, he wants it, and yes, he took it down. <laughs> it's a very good meal for a mature male. I did try to offer one to the bee smithy. But he wasn't very interested. I think he likes his crickets better. <laughs> okay then guys, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up is my Plunabeus muticus, the king baboon. We're actually looking underground at the moment into a burrow. And hopefully she's going to come out and grab the larvae for us. Go try and open up the entrance of the burrow a little bit and tempt her out. Okay, so you can see one of her huge legs there at the entrance to a burrow. And what I'm actually trying to do is use a piece of grass to tempt her out. And it looks like it might be working. As you can see she's trying to trying to grab it. So I'm slowly moving the string around. String, I mean slowly moving the piece of grass. Hopefully tricking her into thinking it might be something to eat. And we might be able to get a better shot of her then. Okay, well she's not really coming out much more than that. So I'm going to drop the grub right next to the burrow. And hopefully she'll come out and grab it. Oh, she got it. <laughs> okay guys, well, kind of missed the attack. The group decided to commit suicide and jump into the burrow. And pretty soon after she grabbed it. And you can just see the grub there. Just underneath her. Hopefully she will turn around and I'll get a better shot in a few minutes. So yeah, I think we'll leave her to it. And I'll come back to it if she turns around. <laughs> Okay then guys. Okay guys, well she has turned around now. And as you can see, it was a very large grub that I gave to her. Looks like a very good meal. And she's just starting to do the little web dance that teas do after they're fed. So yeah, you can just see her slowly moving her legs around. Looks like a very cool hide she's got going on down there. <laughs> And yeah, just a shame she didn't actually come out to grab the grub. It just fell in there. But still made, still got a pretty good shot of her now. Okay then guys, looks like she's enjoying that. Let's leave her to it and carry on with the video. 
Okay then guys, well as you've probably guessed, the last spider we're going to feed is my huge Theraphosis termi, the Burgundy Goliath. And yeah, she really has taken to using the hide at the moment. So I think we'll try and use that piece of grass again to tempt her out. Then once she's out in the open, we shall try and feed her. <laughs> okay then, let's see how it goes. Yeah, as you can see, she's falling for it. I think it might be, I think it might be something to eat. And you can see just how big she is now. Almost fills the entrance to the hide. I will be putting a bigger one in soon. See if we can't get, get to come out a bit further. <laughs> Made me jump then. But again, you can just see how massive she is. It's a very big spider. Even though this piece of grass is very long, still makes me jump when she goes for it. Okay then, right, well I think she's out enough. Next I'm going to drop the grub just in front of her. And we'll watch her take it down. Okay, here goes. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the size of her. I just, I can't get over how big she is, guys. <laughs> Absolutely enormous. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy to think that she can fit fit down there. But she quite likes it at the minute. In fact, you can barely see the grub, she's so big. Okay guys, well I've decided I may as well give her another one. Because she's so big now, and you can barely see the larva. <laughs> she doesn't look like that much of a meal for her. Okay, let's grab another one and see if she wants that one as well. Okay, here goes. Yep. <laughs> Straight onto it. You can hear her crunching them up. See just how big those fangs are? She has actually got both of them in her jaws and yet you can hardly tell. She could probably even fit another one in there if she wanted to. <laughs> Okay then guys, well I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video, it's been full of lots of nice takedowns and hopefully the teas have enjoyed their Christmas meals. <laughs> okay then guys, hope you have a nice Christmas and I shall see you again soon.